the best saga today i'm going to show you how to connect your bluetooth controller to pso2 for the pc um this game recently dropped on the north american side um i was playing for the, the japanese version for a while but now it's out for the na um i'm super happy about it um but i noticed a lot of people in the community was having a problem connecting the controller so i'm going to show you how to do it today so you're going to start by going to your web browser and you're going to put in this site now this site will be in the description below and um, you just download any version you need. Um, the program is called DS4. Um, as you can see the features right here. And pretty much uh, it's going to come in a zip file. Just extract it. It's going to come right here. When you open it up, you just open the program. And I, you can probably hear in the background. Um, it can try to connect but all you gotta do is once you sync your controller your bluetooth controller to your laptop or pc um you'll see it here it shows the battery life everything like that and it's already set up already um it's already set up you don't need to do anything unless you want to do anything special but it has the profile um it has the output slots uh the connect four and it has everything you really need um it's all self-explanatory but i'm here showing you um, that it does work for PS, uh, PSO. Um, so we're going to go to PSO to show you guys that it works. And that's admin. And let this all run and everything like that um but yeah let's give it some time to start up Sega As you can see, um, the cursor of the mouse uh, It's going to press the start button. I'm using the PS4 controller, so options and start. Um, press the next button. X. And there you go. Um, everything's working. Now, if you have any questions, um, feel free to uh, comment below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And it pretty much has the same button layout. Um, I know there's a two button, but a, usually everybody goes to the three button layout that wants to play the controller. And that's a three button layout that is for Xbox One. So the version of PSO for Xbox One is the same layout with all the controllers. Um, so you really don't have to configure anything unless you're playing a different game or you know you want to change up your play style. And you know, there you have it. Walking around, everything like that. Um, also, this is the Sonic outfit. For, uh, the Sonic Collection Pack, it's totally worth it. I see a lot of people in the community asking if it's worth it. Um, it is. If you're a Sonic fan, you know? But, I mean, if you're a PSO fan, you have to be a Sonic fan also. Um, yeah, but here it is. Um, you get a Sonic mask and a whole bunch of other stuff too in premium. So, it, it's nice. Instead of paying the $15 for premium, might as well just, you know, chunk out the 60 and boom. Um, but yeah, if you, um, if this video helps you out, um, it'd be great if you guys subscribe, like the video, um, and tune in for more content, more PSO content. Thank you.